Welcome back to Sikistan and today we're continuing the series where we're answering your questions and comments in a video and we have a question from Swanson he says another question and I don't know what his previous question was but he said why do you see so many athletes do bench presses but almost never overhead presses thanks guys loving the content so one of probably the main reasons this is probably like the overarching there's a couple of different nuanced reasons why you won't really see athletes do overhead presses but the main one and it's a very important reason it's something you should always kind of consider when you're going about things as one of the variables is that when we're overhead pressing we just can't use as much weight and that's probably one of the most important things to consider here between overhead pressing and bench pressing there's a certain stimulus and there's a certain training effect and there's a certain effect on your organism as a whole when you use things like bench press because you can use a lot more weight that higher absolute weight just has different effects on your body from training and some of these are favorable and obviously some of them then will be more fatiguing so you have to take all these into account but ultimately those heavier weights are just a lot more productive if you take for example Let's say we had the, the All Blacks uh, benching, uh, the New Zealand rugby team, and some of those were benching 140 for two or three sets of three or whatever. They were hitting very productive sets. The likelihood is a lot of those probably couldn't bench 80 kilos, or overhead press 80 kilos, I should say. So a lot of them probably couldn't, and no, very, very unlikely they could rep it for more than one or two. And it's probably similar body weight for some of them. So maybe some of the heavier gentlemen could probably maybe press body weight, maybe sub like 110, 105. But ultimately, that'll be for a single rep and absolutely no more at that in reality. And if it is, it's probably a very special case. But in most likelihood, the vast majority of that team, for example, or anyone doing the bench press will always, always be able to use potentially up to like 50% more weight. And it's just a lot more productive to have the absolute weight because the stress it puts on your system then forces some quality adaption and super compensation. And it's just hard to get away from heavy weights being productive in the weight room for our athletes and S&C people. Yeah, I think even if you think of yourself, uh, or for most people in, in general strength training kind of environments, even if you're involved in a strength sport, one times body weight bench press, or 1.5 times body weight bench press, sorry, is a, a standard prerequisite. Like that is by no means exceptional by any standards. You know, a, a lot of youth athletic setups would look for a 1.5 times body weight uh, bench press most athletic populations of one times body weight strict press is absolutely that's great like everyone's really happy there if you're 100 kilos and you're overhead pressing 100 kilos that's brilliant uh whereas 150 kilo bench press for 100 kilo male is right around where you'd want to be if you're kind of a strong athlete uh more than the nuanced issues then that girth kind of alluded to earlier there's two main ones right the first one is that the range of motion required for a bench press and the actual skill of a bench press is so much lower and at such a higher or such a lower risk bracket than what we'd see with the overhead press or like a strict press or whatever you want to call it. So a lot of the time, if we want to do good strict press, we'll have the barbell sitting across the clavicles, probably in touch with the deltoids here on the front. We'll make sure the forearms are fully vertical and then we press overhead. We bring it back down into a good front rack position again that front rack position where you're starting off from is just a lot less attainable or it's attainable to a lot less people or a lot fewer people than a standard bench press almost anyone can come into the gym on their first day first year first month of training whatever it is and get into a good bench press position do a bench press with some amount of load on it what you'll definitely find in more restrictive groups so particularly groups who might be uh, quite internally rotated. So look at rowers, look at any of the kind of big, large field sports where contact is happening. Uh, ice hockey obviously isn't a field sport, but ice hockey, rugby, American football, any of these where there's large amounts of contact, you will always have restriction of the shoulders, particularly restriction of external rotation in the shoulders. And that just limits how quickly you can get a big team of athletes into a strict press to try and progress that over the course of a few months or a few weeks the second thing then is the level of specificity so obviously we were huge proponents of general strength training right you just need to get stronger bigger faster uh, be in better condition and you don't need to make everything specific to your sport but there are areas of the body that are strengthened by the bench press that just don't get hit quite as hard with the strict press right so if you look at uh, pec minor and pec major as we're pressing out in front if you look at anterior deltoid all of these things are very very important when fending in sports so 
uh, even in a non-contact sport like basketball, we'll see people fending quite a lot where they might have a straight arm, holding a straight arm out in front, fending somebody off from them. This goes all the way through to something like uh, a lineman in American football driving their hands forward or a rugby player holding the ball in one hand and handing off someone with the other. That motor pattern really isn't trained with an overhead press because an overhead press we're just using different muscle groups or we're using muscle groups to different levels of priority. So it might be a lot more tricep dominant uh, whereas the bench press mightn't be quite so much. Before we finish, I just want to say a shout out to Jordan Hooten whose wife got in contact with us for a reason and we are just want to say happy Christmas and here he is Jordan pressing 114 by 3 so we had a bit of a a mix up with an order and by way of uh, replacement for the order we are giving Jordan a shout out just to say he's a very strong individual phenomenal straight press yeah and you have um, that's, a, that's such a thoughtful thing from from your wife that's yeah, so nice. yeah 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 no girls are just better people in general than men in fairness yeah they really are yeah Jordan have a great Christmas. That's an adorable dog as well. Oh my god. Oh my god. Toby. Happy Christmas, lads. And to Toby in particular. Uh, particularly Toby. Yeah, Toby. Oh my gosh, so cute.